Hello everybody, my name is Izzy and welcome to my channel or hello if you're new here. Today, I'm going to be talking all about long distance relationships. So I talked to my boyfriend about this video beforehand, I asked him for some advice, so we kind of collaborated there and put together some of our best ideas on how to handle and do a long distance relationship. And I know he watches these videos, so I just wanted to say hello. Love you, babe. So we've been dating for about a year and a half now, and almost all of it has kind of been long distance. And so, yes, I have a lot of experience about it. And no, it's not a military relationship. I would never be able to do something like that because three months was hard enough for me. That was the longest that we've had to go without seeing each other. And it's because of school and work and we're both super busy and improving our own lives and working on ourselves as well as maintaining our relationship. So yeah, I know it's super hard. In fact, it is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life but I know that it is possible to make it through. So basically, here is all of the tips and advice for how to make it through and actually how to take advantage of it. So first of all is to use your time apart to focus on yourself and your success. I was in school for most of the time when we were apart. I mean, it was summer vacation too for half of it and I was working. So I took that time to really focus on my grades and to take the classes that I wanted to. I focused a lot on my YouTube channel and growing that and also my job and I still do all these things now. But when you have all this alone time, you can spend a lot of it on self-improvement and your partner as well. And you know, always, you know, keep in touch with them and I'll get more on that subject later. So basically what I'm trying to say is to take this time apart to really focus on yourself and whether it be your schooling, hobbies, job, career, whatever it is, take advantage of this time for yourself. My next tip is to find something you can do together even though you're miles apart. So, for example, me and my boyfriend play a lot of video games together. It's great because we can just either FaceTime or talk on the phone and both have our laptops or computers up and play a lot of games together. We played a lot of games like Rocket League, Minecraft, Warzone, Isle Ward, RuneScape, all those things like that. It was just a lot of fun to find some multiplayer games so we could spend some time together and do something besides talk on the phone. We also have this game on our phones that we both play. It's called Top Drives, but that's not important. But my point is that it gives us a lot of things to talk about when we call on the phone and we always talk about our progress to each other. Next is to always have a time planned when you're going to see each other next. Don't leave it as a mystery, plan a date, and stick to it. Follow through with those plans no matter what, and have it set way beforehand so you'll always have something to look forward to. You should also know each other's routines, that way you can schedule times to talk with each other, you won't be confused or asking why they're not texting me back at this moment because maybe they're at work or school, so know when your partner is busy and schedule times that you can talk with each other. Also make sure to always be open with them. If something's bothering you, tell them. Don't keep it bottled up inside you, it'll create feelings that should not be there and most of the time will make you feel worse so it always feels so good to just let it out. In the moment it can be kind of scary to be telling them these things but in the end you'll probably be glad that you did and have worked through this little problem that you're having and hopefully can get through it a lot easier. I'll tell you what though, being in a long distance relationship really makes you cherish the time that you have together. Most of the time when I do get to see him it'll be for like one full day and like half a day. So we really spend those days having a ton of fun and really cherishing every moment because we know it's not gonna last, which sounds really sad, but it really makes me appreciate our time together so much more. So yeah, doing long distance has really made me appreciate my boyfriend more, seeing all the effort that he puts in to come see me and how much time he takes out of his life to talk with me and make sure I'm feeling okay. Cause we live, I know it's not that far, but it's about six hours or so apart and I just had to do that drive for the first time recently and it's awful and it really helps me appreciate all the things that he's done for me. It's really helped me see and appreciate all the things that he does for me and proves so much that he loves me and it really means a lot. So even though long distance relationships absolutely suck, hopefully you can take something away from these tips and advice that I shared to see how you can use them to your advantage and make them suck a little bit less and to get through them a lot easier. And that's all the tips that I have for this video. If you are in a long distance relationship, let me know what your tips and advice are and leave them in the comments section because I'm super curious on what everybody else does to cope with it. 
And I think that's all I have for this video. So if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. I have lots of other lifestyle videos kind of like this, and I will have the playlist linked below. And thank you for watching.